Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Bien? ¿Estás feliz? ¡Qué bien! Yo estoy feliz. Well, today we're going to do something different. Show me your sign language. Different. Today we're going to learn the word adjetivo. In English is adjective. An adjective is a word that describes a thing or a person or a place. In this case, today, we will learn a few words that will describe the members of our, did you say familia? That's right, the members of our family. And we will also describe a few places and we will also describe how we are feeling today, how we are feeling. And the same for the members of our family. And so, after we're done with the words and sentences that I will be describing, I will invite you to read a book with me. Can you show me the sign language for the word read? Put it in your eyes like this, eyes, and then read. We're going to read a book that I prepared for you, and it is really, really, really nice. Now, we haven't done that before, especially kindergarten and so i'm going to ask for you to um ask for help help from mama or papa maybe from big brother or big sister and that will be after the lesson okay listos vámonos la Familia, la familia. These are pictures of the book that I wrote for you. La familia, we knew that word. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is the first sentence and you know these words, but you don't know how to put that describing word or adjective into a sentence. So watch my sign language first. Mi hogar, or in this case we say casa, casa, mi casa es grande. Grande is an adjective, is a describing word for the house. Grande. Now, when it's very big, we say muy grande. ¿Te escucho? Mi casa es muy grande. Muy bien. Tu turno. Mi casa es muy grande. I heard you. Excelente. Okay, el siguiente. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's move to the next one. Okay. En mi, en mi hogar. Remember the difference between this and this? Very good. You said it, Grace. Muy bien. Casa is your house. And when you eat, how will you sleep is your home in mi hogar en mi hogar está mi muy bien you said papá y mi mamá en mi hogar está mi Papá y mi mamá. When I say me, if you notice, let me put these sentences right there so you can see them. Um, when I say mi papá, it is my dad. Y mi mamá, it's my mom. In English, me is for I, right? 
But in Spanish, mi means mine. M I means mine. Okay, let's do it again. En mi hogar está mi papá y mi mamá. I want to hear you now. Okay, muy bien. Muy, muy bien. Okay, we're going to move on to the next page of the book. De el libro. Okay, these sentences for ourselves. Ready? Aquí, that means here, aquí estoy yo. Remember this word right here, yo, I, muy bien. Aquí estoy yo. Here I am. Aquí estoy yo. And today I'm going to have you draw yourself at the end of the lesson. That will be the activity for today. So take a quick look at this one. Aquí estoy yo. Now there's a sentence on the bottom. And that sentence say how I feel today. Listos? Ready? Yo soy feliz. Very good. Yo soy feliz. I know sometimes when kids are learning this word, they think about soy sauce. So if that helps you to remember, that's okay. It's actually spelled the same way, <laughs> but it means I am. Yo soy feliz. Okay, te escucho. Yo soy feliz. Muy bien. La siguiente. Do you remember how to say little brother? Muy bien, that's right. So we hold like we're holding a hat. And then, awesome, you have great memory, wonderful, maravilloso. <laughs> Muy bien. Mi hermano es, oh, sorry, no, mi hermano, let's do it again. Mi hermano, adjective is little, that's right, say pequeño. We have grande for the house. Now we're going to talk about brother is little, pequeño. ¿Te escucho? Pequeño. Mi hermano pequeño. Okay, now watch this. Está. That means is. How does he feel today? Oh, did you say enojado? Very good. That's the sign language for mad. Does the baby look mad? See? Enojado. Good job. Okay, vamos otra vez. Let's do it again. Mi hermano está enojado. Muy bien. Tu turno. Mi hermano pequeño está enojado. I forgot that word. So describes two things that my brother is little and that he is mad. Very good. So, so far we learned two words to describe grande y pequeño. And then the feelings, we have two feelings. The first one was feliz and the second one is enojado. When you do this sign, also make your face look like this, enojado. <laughs> Muy bien. Okay, el siguiente. Muy bien. Do you remember the word for sister? Hermana, excelente. Wow, that's amazing. You have great memory. We start with me again because it's mine. Okay, my sister. Me. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? We didn't switch to Spanish. Maybe that's why you're not doing it. Let's switch to Espanol. Click. Me. Hermana. Es feliz excelente your turn mi hermana está feliz do you see a describing word that you already know that we just learned 
Grande, correcto, mi hermana. Grande, that means she's tall, mi hermana grande, está feliz. Very good. So now we know that she is tall. Maybe she's taller than me. She's bigger than me. And she's also feliz. Excelente. Okay. Now. This sentence tells about that I have a bigger sister, older than me, and a younger brother. Correct? Very good. And perhaps in your family is different. Perhaps you are the baby of the family. Perhaps you are the older member, the older sibling. I don't know. You can think about how in your house how it is maybe you're the only child it's okay but let's try to read this part tengo that means i have ready tengo tengo ready i have tengo una hermana grande now the word and e let's do it again E is one single letter, it's a Y, and we say E. Y una, I'm sorry, un hermano pequeño. Let's do it again. Tengo una hermana grande y un hermano pequeño. Okay, now. This book has a few more pages, so we're going to break it down in two. The next part of the lesson continues with a few more pages. You don't have to worry about that for now. We're going to stop right here, and we will leave the rest of the book for the next class. Let's review the words that we learned. Ready? Grande. Pequeño. Feliz y enojado. Enojado. Muy bien. Okay, very good. So today I will send you the book as well. And I will also send you a paper where you're going to do a drawing. We're going to draw ourselves. And we're going to say, aquí estoy yo. Yo soy feliz. So it's the first time that we actually write the whole sentence and we're going to talk about ourselves. Okay, you did an excellent job and I see how you're memorizing all those words for family members, for familia. Excelente. Well, I love you very much. I miss you and I'm just so happy to see you today. Take care and we will continue with the next, the, the rest of the book next class. You learn a lot today. I'm proud of you. Take care. Adios. Now let's take a look at how the book is going to look like. La Familia, written by Araceli Delgado, especially for you. I dedicate this librito or little book to all our precious families at GVA and beyond. Have fun. Okay, let's go back to the first page. Mi casa es muy grande. En mi hogar está mi papá y mi mamá. Aquí estoy yo. Yo soy feliz. Tengo una hermana grande y un hermano pequeño. Mi hermano pequeño está enojado. Mi hermana grande está feliz. And remember, there's some more pages that we'll continue reading next time. Now let's take our paper and colors and play the next video so that you can watch how to draw yourself.